Do you have bad breath? Do you have yellow teeth? Are you Google searching oil pulling because you have some sort of like gum disease, toothache, cavity problem? Well, today I'm gonna tell you my experience uh, oil pulling for a full year. Actually, it was a little bit longer than a year, but I'm gonna be telling you the benefits that I saw, pros and cons, just everything I know about oil pulling. Okay guys, this is my second time trying to film this video. First time didn't quite work out. So what is oil pulling? Oil pulling is an Ayurvedic alternative medicine Indian practice where you swish oil in your mouth for about 15 minutes and it's supposed to take out the toxins or bacteria inside your mouth. So what kind of oils can you use for oil pulling? You can use a wide variety that range from coconut oil to sunflower oil to sesame oil to olive oil as long as it's organic, cold pressed, and unrefined. Those are all good options that you can find easily at your grocery store or online. So why do people do oil pulling? There have been a lot of claims online that oil pulling has solved a plethora of oral or dental related issues. There have also been a lot of claims by medical professionals that say that oil pulling doesn't do anything or there's no studies that have proved these benefits yet. So I tested this for the last year and a couple months. And so here is my experience oil pulling for the last year. In the short term, I would say that it does help with anything like tooth aches or gum aches. I used to do oil pulling as a one-off thing. So I would do it for like three to four days and then take breaks for like weeks or months and then do it again for like two, three days. And the reason for this was if I ever experienced anything like tooth aches or gum aches, and this would be from like post filling procedures, post wisdom teeth removal, removal and I had discomfort, I would do oil pulling and it would help with the pain instead of having to take pain medication. But as of last year in early 2020, I started to commit to oil pulling. I did it every single morning for about 10 to 20 minutes depending on how much time I had in the morning. And yeah, I actually saw a lot of benefits. So the first one that I saw that is the most obvious to me is my teeth got whiter. I've never done professional teeth whitening. I've never used the white strips that you can find. Um, I've also never tried those like alternative, like the brushing your teeth with like charcoal powder or whatever. I've uh, never done those things. And so growing up, my teeth was never the whitest, but it was okay. It was a little yellow. There's like some stains on it. But after doing oil pulling consistently for over a year, I have noticed that my teeth are whiter and less uh, stain-y and yeah so if you suffer from yellow teeth or stains on your teeth oil pulling definitely helps but you have to commit to it long term the second one is that my gums are nice and healthy people say that oil pulling is first and foremost for keeping your gums nice and healthy and i can verify that during my last checkup with my dentist he said that my gums are good and then third i would say that my breath has gotten fresher. I used to suffer from morning breath, aka my breath smelled in the morning before I brushed my teeth. And actually now when I wake up in the morning, before I drink water, before I brush my teeth, before I eat anything, my breath is fine. It doesn't smell like anything. And I think that's pretty amazing for someone who suffered from morning breath for quite some time in her life. So if you have bad breath, you can try oil pulling. You can also try brushing your teeth or using mouthwash. Whatever gets the job done. I think oil pulling has a multi-purpose function, which is like teeth whitening, breath freshening, just like a lot of things. And so I think oil pulling is really good for that. And then lastly, I think that oil pulling reduces inflammation. I used to get weird gum aches or toothaches because of inflammation. And my dentist would basically send me home saying, there's nothing we can really do about it. And so I would resort to oil pulling. Since I started consistently doing it in the mornings, I have not experienced any sort of inflammatory related pain or anything like that, which I mean, props to oil pulling for that. And if you guys experience that too, you guys can definitely try oil pulling as a solution. I have heard people say that oil pulling can solve headaches or skin related issues like i don't know acne or eczema or something like that i don't think oil pulling has solved those for me i still get headaches i still get acne and so that's something to keep in mind just to list off some pros and cons pros i think oil pulling is extremely inexpensive a jar like this so this is the one that i use actually i use coconut oil 
And this one is by Simply Nature. It's an organic, cold-pressed and refined coconut oil that I get at Aldi and it's like three or four dollars. It's super cheap and this jar will last me like four or five months, like a long time. So it's really cheap, really affordable. You guys can find coconut oil anywhere or just any oil, like olive oil or sunflower oil. You guys can find that at like your local grocery store, whichever one tastes the best to you. I would just go with that one. So yeah, it's inexpensive, easy to find and and easy to incorporate into your routine. Just before you brush your teeth, you can take a tablespoon and just swish it around for 15 minutes and you're good to go. So some cons is that I know because it's oil, it can be messy, it can be hard to clean. Also 10 to 15 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes is a long time. I do it while doing other things in the morning, such as making my breakfast or getting changed or whatever, getting my work set up ready. I would say it's a lot more easy to do consistently due to work from home. If work from home wasn't happening right now, I would definitely think that I would be skipping a couple days. If I woke up late, uh, I would probably have to skip because, you know, obviously it takes like 15 minutes. And then lastly, the taste of oil can be off-putting for some. I know for me, when I first started doing it, it tasted gross, like straight up gross. And sometimes it can like trigger like your gag reflex, which is like not good. That's why I always recommend getting the oil that you think tastes best for me. And for most people, I think coconut oil tastes like the nicest and so you can try coconut oil or you can try another type of oil and then lastly some misconceptions that I've heard is that oil pulling can heal cavities or prevent cavities and I'm a huge like no like that does not that's not how it works to prevent cavities you would need something with like fluoride in it um, so like toothpaste or mouthwash that has like fluoride because these oils don't contain these like anti-cavity ingredients it's not going to prevent cavities, it's not going to solve cavities if you already have them. You should go see your dentist, get those nice and drilled out and filled in. Secondly, oil pulling doesn't replace toothbrushing or flossing. Some people say that the oil will loosen the debris in your mouth and it'll replace flossing. I don't think that's how it works. Actually, I'm like 100% sure that's not how it works. And so you guys should continue flossing, continue brushing your teeth, Oil pulling can be used as something supplementary, but yeah, don't stop brushing and flossing, guys. Also, it doesn't fix things like TMJ, teeth that need root canals, infections. What it does replace, though, I think, is tongue scraping. If you guys have bad breath and you guys use tongue scraping to freshen up your breath, this is a really good way to replace that and then also whiten your teeth in the meantime. So I would highly recommend trying oil pulling instead of tongue scraping. I do have a tongue scraper that I do really enjoy, but I just think that oil pulling just gets things done all at, in one go. So lastly, my review of oil pulling is that I think it's not a one solution that fixes everything, but it is something that fixes or helps with a lot of things. It's a great supplementary activity to do um, in addition to brushing and flossing and all those things that we all should be doing with our teeth. Um, and so I highly recommend you guys try it just because again, it's so easy to find, it's so affordable, and if you guys have time in the morning to do it, it doesn't hurt, right? Again, I've experienced a variety of benefits from oil pulling and I hope you guys do too. So if you guys want to give it a try, feel free to do so. If you guys have any more questions about it, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Like this video if you thought it was helpful, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.